My Pet Dragon. Starring B. When B took a walk one day, he found an egg of speckled gray. I'll take it home, he said. With luck, I'll hatch a baby chick or duck. The egg soon jumped. A crack appeared. What happened next was wild and weird. A tooth poked through and then a snout. A tiny dragon bounded out. No way, a dragon, B said. You'll be my pet, I'll call you Red. He fed her pet and bathed him too, as all good dragon owners do. He taught her lots of games and tricks. Her favorite one was chasing sticks. And every night he'd say, sleep tight, don't let the tiny bed bugs bite. But baby dragons, as you know, do not stay small for long. They grow. He soon outgrew, he soon outgrew her dragon bed. It took a ton to keep him fed. He sharpened up his claws on trees and caused alarm with every sneeze. In search of something good to chew, he chased a bus and caught it too. Because of red, the city pool soon had a strict no dragon rule. And soon those signs were all around. How sad, said B. Red just frowned. A snack will cheer us up, he said. He toasted up some treats with red. Some kids said, hey, that looks fun. That looks... Some kids said, hey, that looks like fun, so be shared with everyone. And when they all enjoyed their snack, they took turns riding dragon back. At last, to finish off the ride, the dragon's back became a slide. And after all the fun they had, they said this dragon's not so bad. Then B taught his pet with ease what not to scratch and how to sneeze. From parks to pool all over town, those rude no dragon signs came down. Now, while behaved still bright and clever, Red was B's friend forever.